do not currently support it, but it is in a future state for us. So um, I think we're, we're ahead of the curve in a lot of places. This is um, an area where we're a little bit behind. And the reason for that is our um, booking and service system that our agents use is um, a homegrown system that we have in we have a large team of in-house engineers that work on it and it was built um, on an older platform and we've slowly been transitioning it over but because of the um, because of our own internal technology we have not been able to move it off of an older version of um, Internet Explorer and you know, as with any business, we have shifting business priorities, and sometimes we choose to have those um, our engineers working on technologies that are going to improve the customer experience. Um, and to be honest, sacrificing a little bit the agent or employee experience that we have using our backend systems. So we're actually um, in the process right now of just kind of removing those final handcuffs and we'll be able to, to switch to a newer technology soon which will give us the option of um, bring your own device and and um, some services such as what Dijon offers but today um, during our ramp up season my technology department looks like um, a FedEx office so we send out um, we send out computers monitors phones routers everything uh, to close to 400 people because when we're hiring 300, we end up, um, again, over hiring. So a lot of times, um, you know, because we have to get the equipment out at least a week before the person starts and we have that last minute drop off, we end up shipping out equipment um, to people who never start. So um, it is very high volume. We have uh, one facilities manager and one mailroom person. Um, and it is certainly not their favorite time of year, but we have other people pitch in and help and, and somehow make it work. But that's what we're doing right now, and hopefully it will be the last time this year we'll be doing it. Yeah, it, uh, it, you know, it actually kind of one of my first projects working with our contact center was, um, you know, an implementation of a cloud uh, CRM platform. So we, we, we had been on a, on a cloud based CRM and we kind of moved in, into a, a newer version of the, of the product. So we, we've been using, um, using that for about three or four years. Um, we, we then moved last year to a cloud based phone system, um, which, which enabled the whole different set of capabilities for us um, took a lot of re um, resiliency to to have on-premise infrastructure or even have you know our agents uh, on-premise or have kind of VPN access or soft phone access that it just limited what we had to architect internally to, to get the results that we were looking for so since since those two tools have been enabled we, we've, we've now have like a work from home program so we have remote uh, agents um, you know, out in the field doing what a lot of other businesses are doing or have done for quite a number of years. Um, it also has allowed us to expand our operations significantly internationally. So we, we have contact centers that we've spun up in Hong Kong, uh, Seoul, Korea, Melbourne, Australia. Um, we're, we're looking at opening another one in Tokyo next year. Um, so, you know, it's really it added a ton of capability. So uh, we, we, in addition, we're leveraging a cloud-based workforce management tool. Um, so really the, part of our, our challenge today is, is how do we deploy existing on-premise applications to these um, securely to our teams that are, are now becoming so diverse. So, so actually the, the move to the cloud has been great, and, and what's what's our biggest challenge today is is dealing with our our legacy on-premise uh, tools and applications. Exactly, I'm uh, I'm the master of herding cats. Um, it's uh, it's a daily daily challenge because within our environment. You know, we, we kind of know uh, about 45 days of, from a recruiting standpoint, you know, when they come on board. But, you know, unfortunately, when they give the notice, uh, their, you know, former company just shuts everything off. And, you know, instead of having two weeks, we've got, you know, eight hours to get them onboarded. 
So we, we support kind of a hybrid. We, we support both a, a virtual uh, solution, BYOD, uh, remote, remote users. Um, from a sales force, um, we, we are actually going to be pushing everything into a cloud environment. So regardless of their um, bring your own device or from an on-prem uh, uh, system being configured, shipped, and delivered, uh, I really want to get out of the manufacturing of computers because uh, based upon current technology, uh, when we deploy a, a, you know, a new loan officer as an example or a sales uh, manager, um, you got to get the computer, you got to get it configured, you got to, you know, uh, and, that's, and that's from a corporate standpoint. If they're bringing out their, their own device, we're remoting into their machine, unwinding whatever they have, putting in admin credentials so that we can secure our environment uh, to ensure that, you know, their kids aren't getting on and, and plugging in games and, you know, affecting all of data uh, for that piece. So really trying to get away from manufacturing the system, which speeds up the uh, the onboarding and the implementation and, and the user's experience for that matter. Um, you've got a real-time solution that you can deploy via, you know, a web um, if they get corrupted, you can wipe it, you know, reinstall it very quickly so it reduces downtime from your IT support uh, systems. Um, you don't have to worry about what kind of device that they have or what kind of current, you know, uh, configuration that they have because the, the virtual cloud solutions um, are real time. Uh, from a security standpoint, it's, it's almost necessary in, in our environment because of the amount of data uh, that we are storing um, and, and have access to. And if it gets in the wrong hands, uh, it can be uh, catastrophic, uh, both for our customer and, and for our, our sales force, because reputation is key with, with all of that. So we've, we've deployed a lot of different cloud environments, uh, including soft phones. Uh, so when we deploy, you know, u new users, a lot of, a lot of employees want to use their existing, you know, phones that they've been, uh, branded for many, many years. So we'll just do a port over, um, and the soft phones just go right onto their desktop or, or smart tablet or whatever they have. And then using the virtual solutions uh, for for mobile apps or for applications for our data, um, we deploy that very very quickly in the environment, um, and we've seen a significant increase in uh, satisfaction from both the hiring manager and the employee, um, and they really um, appreciate how quickly uh, they can get into our infrastructure. Um, with sales with sales, so especially loan officers, I mean they're commission based. And so every day that they're not able to originate a loan, you know, definitely impacts them financially. So the, the ability that we can turn them on real time um, allows them to get embedded into our system much more quickly and, and be more comfortable, um, you know, when they're switching from a different environment into a new, uh, a new company. It can be a very scary time for them. So we give them the tools necessary to uh, plug and play. Um, and it's been, it, it's been a great, um, uh, system to, to deploy for our customers, both financially and, and uh, user experience. 